Uh, what's this? I'm still on TikTok to... Let's address this first. I'm still on TikTok to support my friend. He still does his lives around London, but he's getting disappointed as well. Okay, let's address this actually before I leave. Why, why is he getting disappointed? Not enough support. Here's the deal. This stuff works on the kind of reverse psychology perspective. So the more you try and pursue something, as in the more you obsess over this thing that you don't have, the more you're moving away from it. But the reason why is because you're putting like negativity out in, in the world. You're focusing on the wrong things. Your friend should not be focusing on the fact that, oh, people aren't supporting. Oh, there's not enough people watching. Duh, 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 duh. He needs to be doing this for the right reasons. He needs to be thinking like, why am I doing this? What is it I hope to achieve? If his goal is to, okay, be a, a successful content creator, right? There's a way to do that. But you have to sit down and plan. You have to sit down and go, okay, my goal is to get, I don't know, a million followers, for example. The way to do that is to do things like follow trends. Jump on trends, that's one way to do it, okay? Maybe get lucky, get a viral video. But really, you need to get something that distinguishes you from everybody else. Do something that no one else is doing. It's easier said than done, right? But again, it's tricky because you'd be running from place to place going, oh, I need to try this, I need to try this, I need to try this. You've got to be yourself. And you've got to find a way to make that work within the context of an app like that. When I got a viral video, the reason why I got, why it was viral, I think, was to do with the fact, because it was really popular in the Middle East, in Europe, right? And I think a lot of it was comedy. It was just a funny, like, silly clip. It was me reacting to something, like, oh my god! Like, and people just found it funny. They were like, oh, what's this? This silly Englishman, this is funny, right? And, yeah, and I imagine he's... Listen, I've been there. I know I know where he's coming from. I know the disappointment. But the thing is, this game is relentless. It's a game. It's relentless. When I first started streaming three years ago, I streamed for eight months straight on Twitch to no one. I'd turn up almost daily. I do several streams. I sometimes do multiple streams in a day, you know, three, four hour streams a piece per day. No one would show up every single time. Every once in a while, maybe one person would show up, but mostly no one. And I was uploading the streams on YouTube and just trying to get somewhere with it. And it wasn't going anywhere. And I never gave up. I just kept popping up on, on different apps. And, you know, I slowly built a following just through sheer determination and just being kind of stubborn to be honest but at the end of the day like i never got anywhere with it really uh for a long time but when i look back and you know, i've deleted those clips and those streams now but like i could see that why people wouldn't be invested in it because <sighs> there was just a guy that wasn't very confident didn't really know what he was talking about was just like trying to copy others yeah it needs to be yeah the, the, what people are going to gravitate towards is uniqueness you being uniquely you. The reason why you guys are invested in me is because of that same reason. Because I don't care about like, oh, you know, trying to get loads and loads of followers and loads and loads of fans. Like, sure, that would be nice. But what matters is that you're here and I'm talking to you. And if people join us for the ride, great. If they don't, that's okay, you know? Because I remember a time when no one was here and that was really hard. But everyone starts somewhere how long has he been doing it you know i've been doing this three years and i'm only just starting to like get something of a following but that's three years of like grinding you know and four years if you count the fact that i was doing youtube in 2019 as well trying to just get something going but three years in terms of streaming over three years it's the same as everything else like i've been pursuing acting for four years and i'm still struggling you, you know you really got to want it and you got to not get disappointed when things don't happen straight away you know and that might take years but then if it does and you're getting frustrated and you're like feeling like you want to give up well how much do you really want it when i get moments where i'm like oh what's the point i think to myself how much do i really want it and then i, I have a conversation with myself i go well, of course i want it and then the voice in my head is like, well, why don't you try? And then the voice is saying, well, I always try. And I'm like, well, keep trying. And it's like, but I'm always trying. And it's like, well, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. If you give up now, then how is there any chance of knowing? You know, it's like playing the lottery. One day you might win. 
but you won't win if you don't enter.